Hey guys, Jen here. So today we're going to make a uh, snowman using pizza pans. So you need two of the round pizza pans from the Dollar Tree. And then you also need a rectangle pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. And then you also need a handle of some sort. So whether you use a mop or a broom or something like that. I chose to use the mop so that I can use the mop head to make a gnome leader. So, um, but you do need the handle. Then you're gonna need some spray paint and some markers, things like that. So the first thing you're gonna do is spray paint your pizza pans white. Both of your um, white ones need, both of your round ones need to be white. And your um, rectangle one needs to be black or whatever color you choose, okay? So then the next thing you'll do with your pizza pans once they're dry, and I use Sharpie markers. You could use paint pens or anything like that, um, but I drew a little snowman face on here, and I did use pencil first, and then I just used Sharpies to draw a little snowman face. And then on the square one, I used a silver sharpie and wrote let it snow and if you have a Cricut or if you want to use the letter stickers, um, I I'm worried about the stickers because I'm going to put this outside so I did use marker. That's the only reason why I chose to use marker instead of anything else. So the next thing to do is to attach these three pans to the mop handle using some E6000 or Gorilla Glue. Okay, um, now I am going to use a Santa hat that I picked up at the Dollar Tree um, to put on my snowman's head, but I did pick this hat up in, you know, December, and it's April. No, it's May. It's May now, and so I don't have a scarf to put on him yet, but I know I have one around here somewhere, so I'm going to put that on our snowman too. So let's go ahead and get our snowman put together. All right, guys, so we're ready to put our uh, snowman together. So I've got my hot glue going, and I've got my E6000, and I've got my broomstick. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of both E6000 and hot glue just to try to get my snowman together. So I'm going to start with hot glue just so it will give me a quick hold. And I'm also going to put some E6000 whoops, on here as well. Come on. I might go back with the hot glue. I should have done the E6000 first. Alright. Back with the hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then we'll put on the next piece. And the next piece will be our uh, square pan. So get this little one we're gonna let this dry okay I want to show you I did get my all my snowman e6000 to the broomstick or the mop handle now it's time to decorate them I did find a little Dollar Tree scarf that I had stuffed away so I did just kind of tie that on his neck which I will hot glue on his neck eventually but I wanted to show you what I found. So I got I did get this at Dollar General. It's a yardstick, but I know they have these at the Dollar Tree. I just happened to be at Dollar General when I found it. And so at the end, they have this stake. We're gonna hot glue E6000 this stake to the bottom of the broomstick, and that will give us a stake to put our snowman up. We're also going to glue 
this hat on his head. So the first thing we're going to do is give him a hat. So I'm just going to kind of work to the side here. And so this hat, let me cut the tag off of it first. Okay, so it's got a little, um, oh, those plastic thingies. I don't want to cut that off because I want it to stay bent like this, but I am going to put the hat kind of on this head crooked like this. So I'm going to get my hot glue. And try to get this kind of to stay where I want it to stay. Hopefully you can see I'm not reaching in front of the camera. And then I want this to kind of come across here like this. So I am going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back of this. And glue it right to the edge of the pan because that's where I want it to stay. And you could fill this up if you wanted to, to make it fluffy, but I think it looks fine like this. And I'm going to take the back of it and do some hot glue across the back to give it more some more support. But for right now, um, just for video purposes, I'm going to leave it like this. Um, I will hot glue his scarf in here, but I'm going to kind of leave it just like this and just hot glue it so it stays when it's outside. But I do want to show you... a big project so I want to show you that this steak let me make sure I'm in my, not in my camera shot here so here is the end of the broom here is the steak I just want to show you that it fits in here perfectly now what I'm going to do is I'm going to E6000 and I'm going to clamp it with my pliers around it and I'll show you what I mean by that so I'm going to put my E6000 on the stripes here. I'm going to stick it on in there. Put the lid back on. Get my pliers. Where are my pliers? Well, got some big pliers. too big. Where are my pliers? Oh, here they are. Okay, so I'm going to, well, I'm going to do need big pliers. I'm going to just kind of crimp this around it just a little bit. So just so it's a little bit tighter. We're going to let that dry. And um, then he's done, guys. So I think he turned out super cute. I'll get a better shot. I'll put him out in the yard tomorrow so you can see him.